Sarah Girdwood from CHRW 94.9 and today we're at Mantis Art and Eco Festival 2013, an event inspiring environmentalism and some indie music. So I'm here with the organizer of this event. Her name is Becky, and she's been so kind of set all this up. Could you tell us how long this festival has been running? Sure, this is actually the first year for the Mantis Festival. Um, we hope to have many more in the years following, um, but it's just something my partner and I wanted, really wanted to do, and then we got some friends on board, and this is what's happened, so we're really excited. Yeah, for sure. So what inspired this fantasy festival of environmentalism? We live, like, actually our backyard backs onto Boulder Mountain, and um, they'd been wanting to do more stuff in the summer, um, not just in the winter, and so my partner had this vision of having art on the hill, and I'm really into the environment, so I wanted to incorporate some environmental stuff into that. So we combined it both and uh, created Mantis, and also I... Um, moved from downtown to Byron to live with my partner and um, was really used to living downtown where there's a lot of art and culture going on and there's a lot of uh, people biking and walking and so I really wanted to think about how to bring yeah. that to the suburbs. Emphasize sustainability Yeah, the local area. to emphasize sustainability yeah. and show people how they could turn their backyards into gardens and um, also living with wildlife and all the things that come up when you live in a suburban area. Right on, make something beautiful out of something ordinary. Don't tell us what to eat, don't tell us what to grow. We're saving our own seeds, and that's what we'll sow. So I'm here with Margot, who is singing beautifully earlier, and she's got a band as well. Could you tell us about your band? Yeah, it's just three people. Uh, we're, you know, sort of middle-aged. We're called the Beamers, which is sort of a takeoff from the Boomers, you know. Yeah, got it. <laughs> and. Uh, because we also try to play upbeat songs. And oh yeah, I was grooving to your stuff. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, a lot of it is old music, but mm -hmm. we, we're we trying to mix it up a little. Yeah, well it was really and great vibe for, yeah. the, for the festival day. And we're a pretty new group, so we're really still learning a lot of new songs, mm -hmm. new old songs. Now, do you have any work that you do yourself? My own individual pieces I'll be singing later, and they are political, environmental. So you're very supportive of this kind of thing? Then. Yes, this is a wonderful green, event. Yeah. So I'm at the Foods Not Lawns table here with Alexandra and Narcisse and they're going to tell us a little bit about um, what how Food Not Lawn started. So the one in London started uh, just over two years ago and um, it's just community based uh, gardeners in London that got together um, because they decided it would be better to share skills and resources and um, kind of promote growing in the city because it's very very possible um, and this idea of Food Not Lawns came from the States and in the 90s Heather Flores she started Food Not Lawns with a group of other people after doing Food Not Bombs where they got uh, donations of food to cook locally healthy food and they thought hey we'll just yeah. we'll just grow the food ourselves yeah. exactly oh, that's great. so you kind of do like bulk food sharing by buying it all together then, eh? yeah there'll be like seed buying and seed swapping okay. which is definitely fun and yeah. community garden plots yeah. yeah wow well thanks so much guys um, enjoy the rest of Mantis Fest and thanks you for talking with me today it's been a beautiful day at Mantis Fest 2013 Remember to keep it green, and this has been CHRW 94.9. This summer, we are where you are.